I'm gonna get very dirty today. Hey, wait a second. I wrote that backwards, didn't I? Let's begin. These are giant monsters from work of fiction that you've probably seen in many movies and lots of TV shows in the past, but these are not the kind of giant monsters, or should I say kaiju, that we're talking about today. Actually, we're not even talking about giant monsters in general, we're just talking about kaiju in general. Now, the word kaiju itself is of Japanese origin and it means strange beast, something odd, something that hasn't been seen before. So to be exact, we live in a world full of strange beasts, okay? I mean, they could be insects, they could be birds, bats, or anything of the sort. And here are just a few that I listed down. The, uh, the mantis shrimp, that's very interesting. It's a multicolored shrimp that lives in the bottom of the ocean. It's supposed to be very strong, even though it's very small. Uh, the battlefish, that's a very strange looking creature. The blue dragon sea slug, those are really cool. You should look those up. Um, they're small, but they look very elegant little creatures, but they're a lot more lethal than they appear. Uh, the flying fox bat, the goblin shark, the yeti crab, the goliath bird eater spider, and you don't want to come in contact with one of those. The giant salamander, you can only find those in the rivers of Japan, but they are very strange, and apparently they were the inspiration for the Godzilla monster, uh, as in the monster Godzilla itself. And then the most strangest of all the streaming movies in social media, Kim Kardashian and Donald Trump himself. Now, these are just to name a few, but there are a lot more out there. I mean, like I said, insects, they're extremely strange, you know. You see all manner of uh, insects out there. There are some insects that can uh, burrow to a certain host and lay its egg, and that's, uh, that's a botfly. A botfly can lay its eggs inside of a certain animal or a creature, and they just kind of burst out, and there are more botflies born in the world, thanks to that. The mosquito, the kaiju that I hate the most, and what else is another one? A very strange beast out there. Uh, this is actually a daikaiju, a giant monster, the giant squid, that's very real. The kraken, you know, that thing that sinks boats, that sinks ships. That's what's called a giant monster. Those do exist. Whales are technically daikaiju. They're strange sea mammals. A sea mammal. That makes about as much sense as a spatial bird. And by spatial bird, I mean a bird that lives in space. Uh, you just... I don't know, it doesn't happen, but I, you know, whales are there, so they're definitely something. They're very strange. Um, and aside from the kraken, from the whale, which are, like I said, giant monsters, which do exist, they come in very other, you know, various other shapes and sizes. Um, and yeah, I mean, they're out there. <laughs> they're very real. And... Interestingly enough, the really big giant monsters, the ones that we all know about, haven't been on Earth for a very long time, and I'm talking about the dinosaurs. Those were the actual daikaiju. These things fought for territory, they fought to protect their uh, offspring, they fought to protect their eggs. I don't know, sometimes I feel like they fought just to fight. Maybe for uh, dominance reasons, you know, like most animals do today. So, truth of the matter is that if you're going to call something a kaiju, you can't limit your imagination to just what you've seen in a movie. Kaiju are generally just strange creatures and strange animals and beasts that you see in nature. So therefore, the next time you call something a kaiju, don't necessarily think about Godzilla or Knifehead or Leatherback or Gigan or, or uh, Baragon. You probably don't know who Baragon is if you haven't seen the Godzilla series. Um, think of maybe that little mosquito that's flying around your house. That's a weird creature. That's a strange beast, you know? Uh, so, interestingly enough, my point here is that the things that you see in movies, specifically monsters, 
do exist in real life in some way, shape, or form, even though it's not as cool as what you see in the movie, it's there. Anyway, that concludes my video for this day, lords and ladies. And first of all, let me apologize for getting tongue-tied, and this is actually my third take of this movie. Uh, movie. <laughs> my third take of this episode. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, dinosaurs are real. All right, see you folks later.